Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. And today is a very exciting day for me and I know that for a lot of you guys, I'm recording this video on June 29th, 2021 and Synology has released the final version of DSM version 7 and I have waited a long time for this release. And I know that many of you guys have waited together with me. So what we are going to do today is just before we'll hit the uh, red button, we'll do some of the very base or minimum steps that you should do just before upgrading. In fact, there are a lot of steps, but I have concentrated just for the basic or most minimum things that you should do and not skip out on before upgrading. We will go over them just briefly. We will do the upgrade process to DSM version 7 final, final build together. We will get to the DSM 7 desktop, see if there aren't any obvious issues uh, that are visible to the naked eye and conclude the video. So let's wish ourselves good luck and jump right over to the computer and start the ball rolling. Join me. All right, guys, so we are at the computer. And as I said, before we'll just jump on and push the red button, there are a few things that I recommend you do just before upgrading. And like it or not, the first step, at least that I can recommend, will be just waiting a few days, three or four days. But I'm not, I'm not talking about waiting, just sitting there in the dark doing nothing. I'm talking about actively waiting. This means that for a few days, search around the community, look on Facebook, look on Twitter, look on Reddit. If something goes wrong with this upgrade, it will definitely turn up and be talked about in the community. In fact, you can join our Facebook group. Just go on Facebook, search for a Synology user group worldwide. And if something goes wrong with the upgrade, it will be chatted, a chatter will be happening in the group. In fact, there are a few guys already, here's Matthew, that have already upgraded. Things, if something will turn up, it will be talked about in the community, on Facebook, on Twitter, on Reddit, anywhere. Just sit around, listen to the community, wait a few days, and then jump ahead and do a, 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 the other step just before upgrading. The second step that I recommend is backing up your data, and I know it's it's old news, everyone is telling you to do it, but in fact, there is no greater insurance to be able to recover if something goes horribly wrong than backing up your data. When we talk about Synology, I recommend you go into hyper, hyper backup and whatever backup you have already configured, just hit the manual backup now so you will have the most relevant data. And if you don't have a secondary device to backup to, just consider uh, um, signing up for a trial of any cloud service, if it's Synology C2, you can get for a trial uh, uh, period at least one terabyte of storage. I know that maybe even Microsoft is doing it with OneDrive. Uh, I'm pretty sure that other vendors are also giving up one terabyte of storage for a trial period. You can even use Hyper Backup to backup your data to an external drive. Just make sure it's a big enough drive to hold your critical data. Find a way, do not skip this step right here because there is no greater insurance for being able to recover if something goes horribly wrong. Definitely do not skip this step. The third step that I recommend you do just before upgrading is utilizing at least on some uh, uh, um, Synology models out there, the virtual machine manager. And what I talk about, what I mean is creating a virtual machine. If you're running on, on DSM-6, it will look probably the same. If you're running earlier versions of DSM-7, it will look relatively the same. And just create a virtual DSM virtual machine like this. Click on create virtual DSM. I have a whole other uh, uh, video about this topic that I will uh, uh, link uh, uh, in the top right corner right now. Create a virtual machine and try to upgrade it. If the process uh, uh, um, relatively goes smoothly, 
and it should relatively go smoothly because it's virtual there is no real hardware issues that can happen but if the uh, virtual process goes smoothly then you can be rest assured that your data is backed up the upgrade process you have seen in your own eyes you will know what to expect then after these uh, several minimum basic steps you will be able to uh, uh, confidently do the upgrade process at least with a minimized risk all right so these are the three steps that i recommend actively waiting backing up your data to a, a secondary device to an external device to the cloud whatever and trying to do the process virtually with a virtual machine these are the most basic steps that I can recommend. Now, without further ado, let's go over to the download center. Click on NES right here. Type your model of the device that you're upgrading. Again, I am upgrading a spare device, a backup device that I have lying around so that you will be able to see the process in your own eyes. And if something goes horribly wrong, I have my data backed up. And even I can live without this device for a few days. So click on DSM-7 right here and download the PET file. I've already done this step. Let's go over to the NAS. And as, uh, as I said before, this DSM is just released. It's not yet being pushed through the control panel. So what you can do once you've downloaded the PET file, go to uh, 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 update and restore, choose manual DSM update, browse to the pet file click ok click on i understand and agree to the uh, to update the system and click on update i will of course time lapse time lapse the entire process click on yes all right so seems like the upgrade process has finished and in fact it didn't take 20 minutes more accurately it took about five minutes so let's just sign in get to the desktop and see if there are any obvious issues that meets the eye seems like there is some sort of work still being done uh, starting services uh, maybe uh, but overall seems like everything is exactly as it was before the upgrade nothing has really changed in the interface which was expected one thing that i would like to mention for synology moments if you have been upgrading from dsm6 to dsm7 you will automatically be migrated to synology photos from what i have uh, heard and even talked to synology people the process should be very transparent very uh, 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 smooth uh, everything should be migrated migrated right over to synology photos including the al albums and uh, uh, metadata but this is the upgrade process in its entirety do not skip on any of the preliminary steps like waiting a few days backing up your data and uh, uh, virtually doing the uh, the upgrade process with a virtual machine that's an optional steps you know what you don't have to at least uh, if your uh, data is backed up you can even skip this test uh, this step but i do recommend doing it just uh, uh, in order to give you the the ability to uh, uh, to know what you uh, should be expecting so this was the upgrade process to dsm7 thank you guys for watching join our facebook group i will put a link to the facebook group in the top right corner and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye